Hello, data folks. Thanks for joining me again on this channel for data and IT professionals. In our last video, we explored Fivetran, learned how it automatically keeps data in sync between a source and destination, and we even built an end-to-end -end extract and load pipeline from PostgreSQL to Snowflake. If you have not watched it yet, I recommend checking it out first. Today, we're taking the next important step, transforming the raw source data into business-ready tables. All right, let's jump straight into it. Please head over to the Transformations tab. You can ignore this Fivetran metadata-related stuff right over here. It's for transforming data related to your Fivetran usage, and it's got nothing to do with your actual business data. Down below, you'll see the main options for transforming your business data. The DBT Cloud and Coalesce options are free on Fivetran's side because Fivetran will be just triggering transformation processes on their respective external platforms. For example, you can trigger a transformation process in DBT Cloud right after a Fivetran connection finishes a sync. Please keep in mind, the DBT run environment itself is still provided by a third party, in this case DBT, so any usage will be billed by them. However, for DBT core option, the DBT run environment is provided by Fivetran, and hence any data transformed or model run will count toward Fivetran billing. If you're on a free plan, it will count toward your monthly free limits. For this demo, we'll be using DBT core. If you are not already familiar with DBT, it's a modern data transformation tool that allows you to write and execute SQL-based transformations right inside your warehouse. You can develop DBT transformations using any IDE, like VS Code. Let's take a quick look at some SQL-based transformations. Over here, we concatenate two fields. Next, we join two or more tables. And here, we aggregate data. As you can see, with just a few SQL commands, you can handle almost any data transformation you need. Each SQL file is called a model in DBT. When DBT runs a model, the result of the query, or in other words, the transform data, is usually persisted as a table in your warehouse. The table name will be the same as your model name, and the schema, where the table is placed, can be configured using the YAML file, as shown here. I also have a complete DBT playlist on my channel, where you can learn DBT from start to finish in just about an hour. I've added the link in the description, so you can check it out if you want to learn more. Once your DBT development is complete, the code is usually pushed to a Git repository and Fivetran then fetches it from there to run your transformations. Back in the Fivetran UI, select Connect Project for DBT Core. If you have multiple destinations or warehouses, pick the one where your data should actually be transformed. Now we need to give access to Fivetran, so it can fetch the code from the Git repository. Then, we'll configure when and how the transformations should be triggered. As always, you'll have a complete guide on the right-hand side. Let's begin with access. Copy this public key and head over to your GitHub repo. Navigate to Settings and Deploy Keys. Choose Add Deploy Key and paste the public key we copied from Fivetran. Fivetran does not require write access, so you can leave it unchecked and finish the step by clicking Add Key. Please note, you need to be the owner or an admin of the repository to do this. Next, fill in the repository SSH URL. Enter the default destination schema name for your transform tables. It's worth noting that this can be overridden using the YAML configuration file in your DBT project, just like I showed earlier. You can specify the branch where your code resides. My code is in the main branch, so I'll leave it as is. Next, we're moving to another important question. How do you want to schedule or trigger your transformations, and which set of transformations or models do you want to run? This is configured in the deployment.yaml file. This file should be created in the same path where your dbt project.yaml file exists. Let's jump into the code editor and create the file. You can configure as many number of jobs as required. However, for this demo, I just have two jobs. The first job runs every time the connection that we set up in the last video completes a data sync. 
Please note, you cannot use the connection name here. Instead, you need to use the connection ID. You can find the same in the setup tab of your connection. As you can see, this job will run all the models in the DBT project with the tag daily. The second job runs at 3 a.m. every Sunday. A popular cron format is used for this type of time-based scheduling. It's worth noting that I have passed a different dbt command for this job, so it runs all the models in the dbt project with the tag weekly. Now let's save and commit this to the repository. Once everything is in place, return to 5tran and hit save and test to finalize the setup. All validations have completed successfully. Now, click on transformations again. This will fetch both the models and the job details from your Git repository, so please wait for it to complete. Perfect. We now have the two jobs that we set up in our deployment.yaml file. As defined, the first job will wait for the connection to complete its next sync, but you can also trigger it manually whenever needed. Similarly, the second job is scheduled for next Sunday at 3 a.m., just as expected. Let's go ahead and manually trigger both jobs to verify that everything is working correctly. Both jobs have completed successfully. You can check the detailed logs in the run history. As you can see, it has created new views and tables under two different schemas, named Transform and Serve. You can see the same for the weekly job as well. All these Transform tables should now be available in our data warehouse. Let's validate. Head over to Snowflake. Check the respective schemas. And there you go. All the views and tables have been created as expected. These tables are now ready to be served to external tools and applications as needed. Wonderful. We've taken the raw data from the landing schema, processed it through an intermediate transform layer, and created the final serve layer, all with a seamless integration of DBT and Fivetran. That's all for today. Stay tuned for our next video, where we'll explore more data technologies. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button to stay up to date with our latest content. Thanks for watching.